हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो सो देर वॉज वन कॉमेंट फ्रॉम विक्रांत लॉन्ग बैग दैट प्लीज टेल सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ कोर्ट स्मेल बग्स एंड वर्नेबिलिटीज दैट यू हैव इनकाउंटर्ड सो यार टूडे आई बी एक्सप्लेनिंग दो सो लेट्स गो लेट्स डिस्कस वॉट इज कोर्ट स्मेल्स बग्स एंड वर्नेबिलिटीज इन अ कोर्ट uh so basically when we do the code quality check using sonar q it will give us the report that if there is any code smell bug or vulnerabilities so to understand the differentiation between three of this is very important because sometime in interview they can ask you like if you have encountered anything like can you tell us any example like what what have encountered in courts mail what have encountered in bus etc so basically courts mail is something not actually your code is smelling but it is that there is some problem in your code because of which we cannot reuse that code and also it can be optimized more so generally it is not that ki it is not functioning properly or it is not giving the output properly it is doing whatever is expected but it can be optimized more correct and they usually affect maintainability and readability means that if sometimes if uh, any changes are required to be done in code then we have to make the change in whole code so to avoid the, the, that thing uh, these like we can get the report like where all we can optimize or change the code bugs are basically these are the errors that are present in code due to which what we expect to get the answer we don't get it vulnerabilities are security flaws if they are exposed in a code then any uh, you know anyone can attack and use that in a wrong way so i hope this clears the difference between all of the of these three so in code smell like if they ask you about the examples um uh, so basically first of all is hard coding values suppose uh i am i have how coded this okay in a, in my code so if suppose the value of this which i have hard coded changes in future got it so if it changes in future then we have to come and make changes in the code again we have to commit again we have to test it out then we have to build and then we have to deploy that is a long process right instead of that if we take this as a input and store it is in, in some key vault or something if we are going whatever we have to if we can take it as a input or we can you know store this value somewhere and fetch it from there so if in future some changes are told to be done in this we can directly change here we ha don't have to make changes in code and then follow that long process of compiling testing and then deploy that is one thing second thing is if you are nesting some function a lot like you have inside if you are using again if again if you are using again so lot of nested if function if conditions are used then it's not good third thing that i can tell is if in one function suppose there is a function that we have created check in this in this function we are see function should be as small as possible so that we can reuse suppose if something has to be done so we can reuse that function again okay and in other functions too but if we are using many uh, 
steps inside this then it won't serve the purpose it is like ki you are writing whole function inside the it won't serve the purpose of reusability that we cannot use this function because this function will be uh, you know uh, for that particular thing that we are doing we cannot use it in further uh, you know our program so these things should be avoided if we are writing more than like whatever in a function in a whenever we are writing a method we should always perform what is required like if there is a uh, inbuilt function we are using sum so we can you if we call sum then only sum can be performed we cannot perform multiply by it so the purpose of the function should be same what we have defined got it then uh, then if we are using duplicated lines in same function if suppose uh, we uh, the same lines are repeated and again the same steps are followed so uh, that will be like uh, that is of no use so if suppose if somebody has written duplicated line in the code so that it tells so these are few examples of code smells that you can tell bug is something which you there is an error that you have done so whenever you are compiling actually you will get those bugs suppose there is a array that you have defined and then uh, the length of this array is 4 okay and you are uh, whenever you are you are defining you know loop you are using so of course it starts from 0 and it uh, if it length is 4 then it will go till 3 correct but uh, what you are calling four so it will be index out of bound so these all things should be you know taken care of uh, you know while defining or uh, you know uh, so that you can uh, check if, if like if the bugs if they are present or if you are dividing by uh, the uh, you know zero or something uh, some bug or you haven't defined a variable or uh, something like this or you have defined a variable in some other block and you are calling it in some other block so uh, variables are like if you have defined this int variable in this block int a and if you are calling it outside this block it won't uh, it won't be able to recognize the uh, when you will compile it so in this way the errors will be there vulnerabilities are something uh when there can be security attack if uh, you know if you are not uh keeping uh, though keeping a few things in your code securely like your passwords basically if you have to log in somewhere like if when you ever you are running your sql query or something then uh, you have to log in into a database so if you are passing uh, the credentials like hyphen u username and hyphen p in your code only that is like you are exposing the uh, exposing your code and it can be attacked because you are exposing your credentials so these things should be always you know kept in some vault or you know ma secret manager something hashy core vault something like this you should use and also sometimes what happen whenever we are use whenever we are writing a sql query something like this select asterisk you know from any table 
where and you are uh, you you are uh, taking some input from the user so be aware that those things can be misused because these are something that can be misused and it can expose your data because sometimes what we are doing we are retrieving the data from a customer's databases and exposing them to user as an input so that they others can see the data of your customers by giving any input so that is not right if you're taking some input from the user and so it can be misused uh like this only there can be a uh, security vulnerabilities so these are security vulnerabilities uh so um and a few things more like suppose you are uh, writing a code and there is not a proper uh, authentication you have done in your code suppose the input should come from uh, from the users but that input should be you know you should limit those that who can input suppose from these mail ids the input should only be accepted if somebody else is you know uh, giving the input from some other email id then we should not process the request so proper authentication should be done in your code so uh, these are some uh, you know uh, examples of vulnerabilities that you can tell in your interviews so that's all for today's video i hope it uh, you find find it uh, helpful and let me know your views in comment section so yeah that's all bye take care